Starbase, Texas. The morning air is electric with anticipation. On the pad stands Starship, atop its super-heavy booster, the largest, most powerful rocket ever built. This isn't just another launch, it's the dawn of a new era in space travel. Today, Mars is no longer a fantasy. It's a destination. The countdown hits zero. 33 Raptor engines ignite, shaking the ground and hearts alike. The rocket rises, slow at first, then surging skyward, a silver needle piercing the Texas sky. This isn't just about payloads. It's about lifting our dreams. Every test before this led to this moment. Today it all comes together. The goal, not just to reach space but to return. A full end-to-end -end test. Every link in this chain must hold. As Starship climbs, it becomes a bright star in the sky, carrying our hopes for a multi-planetary future. On the ground, engineers and dreamers watch, breathless. This launch is more than technology. It's a statement of human ingenuity and our urge to explore. The journey to the stars is no longer science fiction. The rocket vanishes into the upper atmosphere, a symbol of what's possible. Today, we witness the first step toward routine journeys beyond Earth. The world watches, united by hope and ambition. This is history in motion. The impossible is just a problem waiting to be solved. The journey has just begun. The first step is always the most important, and today, humanity takes it. The first minutes of launch are pure, controlled chaos. Super Heavy's engines devour methane and oxygen, generating colossal thrust. The rocket punches through the atmosphere, every component tested to its limits. Any flaw could mean disaster. Then, the moment of truth. Hot staging. Starship's engines ignite while the booster is still firing, a risky, brilliant maneuver. The booster separates cleanly, beginning its return, while Starship climbs alone. Six Raptor engines blaze, propelling Starship to hypersonic speeds. The blue sky fades to black as it nears orbital velocity. Mission control tracks altitude, speed, and distance, numbers climbing relentlessly. After eight and a half minutes, engines cut off. Silence. Starship is now a spacecraft coasting in space. It's not a full orbit but a long arc around the world. The launch, hot staging, ascent, all flawless. But the hardest part is still ahead. The ship has gone up. Now it must come down. Re-entry is a different beast. The real test is about to begin. Every second counts. The world holds its breath. The challenge isn't over yet. With engines silent, Starship glides through the vacuum, a silver dart against the blackness. Below, Earth's curve is breathtaking. For the next hour Starship coasts, following a path set by physics. It's the calm before the storm. The ship is a bullet, aimed at the Indian Ocean. Onboard computers and sensors collect vital data, checking every system. Engineers on Earth watch telemetry, searching for any anomaly. This is their last chance to prepare for re-entry. The ship will soon plunge from space into a wall of air. No astronauts on board, just a test, but a crucial one. One day, people will look out these windows on their way to the moon or Mars. Today's flight paves the way for that future. As the coast phase ends, Starship orients for re-entry, belly first. Its black hexagonal tiles are ready for the heat. The ship is perfectly positioned. The quiet is over. The fire is coming. As Starship re-enters, air compresses and heats to plasma, glowing fiercely. Historically, this meant total communication blackout, mission control left in the dark. But Starship has Starlink. A special terminal connects to satellites, routing signals around the plasma. For the first time, we get live high-definition video from outside a re-entering spacecraft. The view is stunning. Plasma glows, swirling around the ship's fins. We're watching a man-made meteor in real time. The connection holds. Data keeps flowing. Mission control monitors temperatures and control surfaces live. This isn't just spectacle, it's invaluable data. Engineers see and measure re-entry as it happens. Problems can be spotted instantly. Starlink turns blackout into opportunity. SpaceX pushes boundaries, turning challenges into strengths. The future of spacecraft design is here. Starship isn't just falling, it's flying. Four large flaps like airplane control surfaces steer the ship. Today, it performs a crucial banking turn, rolling onto its side. This isn't for show, it's a vital test. To land back at its launch site, Starship must control its trajectory with precision. The banking maneuver bleeds off speed and aims for a pinpoint landing. It proves the ship can steer at hypersonic speeds. Live video shows the Earth tilting as Starship rolls, plasma swirling around the flaps. 
onboard computers command every move, balancing forces at 20 times the speed of sound. The maneuver is a success. Starship demonstrates cross-range capability. It can steer itself home. This is a huge milestone. Starship isn't just tough. It's agile. It's a hypersonic glider, ready to land exactly where it's supposed to. The future of controlled re-entry is real. Surviving re-entry is one of rocketry's hardest challenges. Starship's heat shield uses thousands of black ceramic tiles, reusable and tough. But what if a tile is missing? SpaceX decided to find out. Engineers intentionally left a patch of steel exposed and removed some sealant near a flap. As Starship hits peak heating, live video shows the exposed steel glowing, red, then orange-yellow. The steel gets incredibly hot, but holds together. Near the flap, a thin line of fire sneaks past the seal but the structure endures. This bold test proves Starship's stainless steel is remarkably resilient. Even with missing tiles, the ship survives re-entry. The system has redundancy and margin for error. Real-world data like this can't be simulated. You have to fly it. Testing to the limit builds confidence. Starship's design is robust, not just theoretical. SpaceX learns by pushing boundaries. The ship is stronger than ever. The worst of the heat is over. Starship slows from hypersonic to supersonic. Descending through clouds, it glows faintly red against a sunrise over the Indian Ocean. Now comes the dramatic belly flop, falling horizontally, flaps controlling descent like a skydiver. The atmosphere acts as a giant brake, slowing the ship. Stable, controlled, Starship heads for its virtual landing target. Near the water, it's time for the final maneuver. The landing flip. In seconds, Starship pivots from horizontal to vertical. Raptor engines ignite for the landing burn, slowing the ship to near zero. The engines fire with precision, guiding Starship down. The ship hovers, then gently touches the ocean. A plume of water and steam erupts. Soft landing achieved. Cheers erupt in mission control. The ship isn't recovered, but that's not the point. Starship has proven it can come home. It survives the journey and lands in one piece. The path to Mars is clearer than ever. The future of space travel just took a giant leap. Humanity is ready for the next frontier.